When you have diabetes, one of the biggest areas is to look after your feet. And the Ministry of Health is working hard in that area, that we examine the feet of everyone who has uh, diabetes. Now on the flip side, why there is a lot of amputation is they do not control their diabetes and they come in late. Many of the diabetic amputees we find didn't even know they had diabetes. Eh? So one day they go to hospital, they get cut. By the time they reach us to save them, we have to cut, we have to amputate the feet. And when they get cut, it's a shock to the system that they have become disabled. It's a shock to the system that they have lost a limb. Once you go to the hospital, get screened if you know you have diabetes. Simple things. When you wake up in the morning, normally we look at our eyes. We are saying for diabetes, when you wake up in the morning, look at your feet and get your feet sorted. That every clinic you go to, we have to check your feet, number one. But some still fall through. <laughs> Nungu <laughs> Tadiau <laughs> na check up sana mendau check tak na we ngau na sawat di dalam daya bani na bunuai kena nas na kor ya umma ni sangan iklaki na ni sa tobi utu kena mati ni suka sa to susu kena musuni apa ni apa anggu me ada pasar mai na rupu ni durung sangka mai musuki na bondua ya ada kata langa kena na koroni apa anggu andune singa wa zombar si kena itu kovati Oitia uma ni mbutua tale nei vapo wa da buto mena ko vati ama ni vakatara ngakina au sen ko te vol nimbola au sen ti ngan ni wan dinin dinin taka ni sa tobi ona mateni suka au oitia sangai me ko te tale vol nimbola ngau na sa lo lo tu kina na mateni mbua sama ni lei musukina na vangu ena ruku tale nga ni durung ago na sale te rukina nongu ndra Kana sa dona kana kena tumbu na nomunra sa ko esranga na ituku tuku ituku ni viao o chinga na ituku tuku ya sa ngatalin dona na ka ituku ni viao na solimo na kena vuani ka o se zava na kena maza tara va o lelo tu nda mbiti ka va lelo tu o va kila ni sa malu malu mo na sa ngu ma wike sa ngu mbiti ka vuma na lingangu na ko to so mbu na vangu ma wingo ya sarang na vangu ra ni sen ra sarang ni tu za kera ma ondara na ngui baba ka sala mani le zuru tu valimbu nga men valimbu la men do na ma zawa o chi no guzuru valimbu la o ka le stale mai vale we say in the ncd space there is no uh, the causes are no but there are risk factors or risk behaviors that are associated with the with the disease in fiji we talk about seven risk behaviors eh? that are associated with NCD. Now with NCD we talk about blood chemistry. Yeah. So we say these behaviors, they deal with chemicals which uh, affect the chemicals of the body. Chemicals of the body which are uh, the most familiar ones are blood sugar, blood glucose, uh, blood pressure, uh, anemia, blood hemoglobin, 
these are the chemicals that need to be balanced in the body. And the theory behind it is if you have a normal chemistry, you shouldn't be sick. Ni oti ruone mba ki na ruone ndolo tini kawalu, orto samba si kama ina friends. Orto koto mba ngu wani kawu, orto koto langa mba ina da wani wako kwa yang na physiotherapist, ko samba wako kwa yang tiki na lama ni wale ngo. Asare ni sarana lebu na bewe isa wewe yao manta nga wakata ki yao, nungu tiki na lama ni wale, asaba ki la sarana lebu na mbele to koko tali ki na ngongu. Nangon apa koko yang aku ortu ba tu tak tak kiau, aku satu um balat tala lemah ni vale, sa ya balat tala nadi nganggu, ia aku babi ni bina kini sa tak kau ya wes na ba koko yang aku ni rani zabu ya baki na mau zuri tumba, betul na bukan ni baka baka zengu na bukan ni baka sabu sabu ni sisi liti koi tumba, kau marau taka. Ni sarah ni uzuru nama tani katumba na rumu au tiko kina, au sarah ni uzuru nama tani tumba, au hop taki au yani tumba mule wakazengu, kule basa basa taki mo si si lekia. You know how when we're running around normal and all of a sudden a situation changes for us, it's very important that the family members pause and think what is the person going through right now and how can we help them. Emotionally losing a limb because you always feel that the limb is still there. It's a big shock. Ina ke na mai tegi bube ya una matengo, au asenga ni na makabagandua. Manarua na undolo tini karua, au asakila arato usatu na bube ya una buniwai. Nioya usatu bube uti kona mateni suka. Unga itu kono ya usenga. Sengah bukan dua. Walau tak senin dua na ni tu bubale, tapi bu mena nunggu for fathers me ada biau. Senin dua ya tu bima teni suka. Sengah bukan dua. Seni bukan bau tu. Ayat 2012, 2015. Uci asangga irai di sarang biau. Amila milang ana nunggu tau kukule bu ni apa? Mila milang a? Aw mila? Mila mila mila? Sangga iwa kaya bu bu zamai. Bu bu zamai nak ni mila mila? Ya usia ni kila ni nabu buza ya ya sahaja serangga main naya bangku. Lepas tu lepas ni bula ngagali tu kuni peyau naya apa musada sando dono ngah mesamus. Aku ngai tanya usia ni tali tak serangga bangku dua. Usia ni bina kata usia besel besel naya bangku ya sambo itu mantang naya bangku ni sama buat tu. Ochi aku lepas tu lepas ni bangku usia ni bosot tarawa nama si botak enak enak naya bangku. Usia nung nung mira tu nana nunggu buba le. Usia mana bagai yo tak ngah musa lah aku melayu mus. Asaman leh musar na nunggu tau kuku lebu, oce aw mai tiko ani vale. Ngau na sarang ame leh mama nda me leh bina kaki na abang gua, tiko buta leh ne karua. Aw sarang rawa sarang aw rawa rawa tak sarang ana matengo. Sangai kasi bagi cikgu me na radio na na matengo na mati ni kan abang gua Italia. Iki aw sarang leh malumu, aw sarang andi andi nata kan nyoya wendu ananda ukana tu abang gua Italia. Akangai kau mai aw kania. Kebo yang nampung ini memang tak aku kana, aku kana ngan nunggu dah u, bila kata tu nak kana. Eating is a sign of life, so you need to eat to live, and very important. But the issue in Fiji is that, yes, we need to eat to live, but it's the menu that we are eating that has changed. We have changed from processed foods, and the latest study that we've done have shown that we have shifting to the to the supermarket foods or the processed foods. Mau nasi musuhnya apa? Mau sanggai pisau tangan anak nunggu kana. Mau sanggai kania tu nak kaka nan rau rau kana kaka nan nado nume wakan yang ayam mateni ngau na. Atu kuni kina beyau ni satu beyau tu kana mateni suka. Mau saya zona lain, mau sanggai pisau tangan nak nunggu kaka na. Mau sanggai kania nak kaka dengai teh asani vale. Waki lai kiana nunggu bulan binaka. Kau kau binaka ni anggu. Aku rawat anak kata uzo kawasa mai yalana tu. Zuki zuki, were were, ada tu kita tinggal nanunggu bovali. Anda orang nanunggu were were, me tina kalau kami ada bawa nandua sih, mengapa nak kata kata kita sini? Ya, ubah kau bina bina kata kaya, exercise, anda ubah kaba. Anda umbalah nunggu, mengapa nak tu ni laku laurai balimbula, mena bina bula. 
ya ho boka bina bina ka taka bi rotu na friends ni rotu nda uduru malio tu mai na malio ya nda wutu ga arwa na maza wa rotu ga nda wia do mai ya nda u marau na ya longu mai na nungu sau mati gunungu bondo bondo libu ya ni gidi bali bol rotu la kuti gu mai lo mai ya mai tau ri nungu pressure tau ri nungu suka ba wu ya exercise taki na na paka sala tau do ko ni kaka na na vi kata do ko mi kania mi wa kata mbuya ertu talinga nungu vita mer tu to ko ni ya wa kali bu mai na ertu do ngo le mai na friends sa li bu na kaka ni kitu sa wa kata mbe sarta ertu nga ilo mani nungu bu vale ya mai na ertu vi to ko ni ka ka wa nungu vita mani mata ndo na ka ertu tu ko na ti vi ya ni ertu to ko na wa kali bu na ertu do la mai na friends ki na nungu mbula mbaleta Ertu maru takkan ertu raidin ertu nanti kau nimbulan bulan binaka, ka kita maru takkan tiun itu bulan nabi ngau natau dok. To prevent diabetes, you have to control the sugar and look after it. Now for those who have been amputated, that's not the end of the world. You still have to move on in life. Eh? The end of our world will come when your heart stops. So even with amputation, you can still live long. And what thing I like about friends is they come and help them, try and mobilize them, do the simple things. Go to the bathroom, go to the toilet. That means there needs to be a change in the way the home is built so that the Fijian can mobilize himself or in the house. I've seen one family member. He has two older people and he's put railings all around the house so that the older people could hold on to the railings and don't fall down. You know, it's, it's aided them to get to the toilets and showers. And do some food gardening. We've done some of that before, where we have encouraged amputees to plant uh, home gardens, where they could eat it and also sell when uh, they have plenty. We got into the community, we do home visits for people uh, living with uh, non-communicable diseases or disabilities caused by non-communicable diseases that have been discharged from the hospital and uh, currently at home. Uh, so far, out of the 60 patients that we were seeing, most of them were um, chronic patients, meaning that they were that they were being discharged from the hospital and they've been at home for more than two or three years. We found that uh, most of them are just left on their own. They are crawling around and there's no one to, to attend to them. I don't want to go to the hospital. 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 Nakangandu zaka ba saroni do saroni dek tak yau ngah saroni gasing aike balik lagi sara. It's a reality in the communities, but somebody has to to do something to look after them. Yo babi nun nakana nuntu buke yau merto na friends na katang mena nunggu wilcia, babi nakana nuntu bebuke nuntu tak kapsan nunggu balik lagi balik sili. Kau sabo le kasar cunggu beau, aku bapin nak nak kabir tu na friends ya, na nunggu tu bebu ke itu na nunggu ngangandre, nunggu ngangandre lalai. And also we try to encourage them to be part of the community that they were once a part of. You know, like sometimes when you had these amputations, when you come back from the hospital, you are left on your own, you feel stressed out, depressed, sad. There's a lot of things that are going on in their, their minds that uh, they will, they themselves only are the ones who are able to tell you. I was able to get my family. 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 I was able to get my to my friends. I was able to get my Tahu nggak sih kayak itu mbak? Tahu sih udah sih ada kata. Anak kanu ngemaru tak? Nusang tu rumah tali tu dapat ni sih diminaka. Kena buat ini buat. Orang utar tata tengah tu dah buat ini sih lepas lain lain saja cikungku. Yang saya ni tera ya ubah itu naga huna. Ubah benda benda balik pun nak keluar biru tu nak friends. Betul tali dia umai. With that, we work with these uh, village health nurses, the Turani Koros, um, 
to ensure that we lift the standard of uh, living that uh, they are in. We worked with 60 people and, and gave them some mobility aid, but we realized that they needed more than just mobility aid. So we developed this program where we've hired physiotherapists and medical officers to go into the communities where they get examined because we discovered that some people, when they get disabled either by stroke or um, amputation, they have been bedridden for years and they don't go back to the clinic. So we wanted the doctors to first of all assess them. Then we very uh, grateful that we had a physiotherapist with masters uh, from Japan, a volunteer, who has worked with the local physiotherapist to assess these people. And over the years, we've seen marked improvement in the mobility. And for that shows, if we think about these people living with disabilities, very small interventions or very low cost interventions actually can uh, improve their lives, the quality of their lives. And that's crucial because you cannot have a person bedridden for next 20, 30 years vegetating. If there is a message that I give to Fiji, you need to go back to the farm and eat organic, number one, because every Fijian is living on land. There must be some, something on the, the land that we are living on. We need to promote that one. But at the same time, we need to talk about the processed foods that Fijians have moved into and how we can learn more to eat from that. Eh? Despite all the conversations, we don't see a change in behavior largely. Eh? If you see um, any morning tea, any food gathering, we still see a lot of cakes and pies and fried foods. And it goes from top to bottom, whether it's government departments or international agencies or church functions. Unless the leaders make a decision, okay, we'll allow one fried food maybe or one sweet dish, but not the whole table is filled with fried foods or sweet dishes. Any meeting, if there's no fizzy drink or very sweet coffees and teas or, you know, it's just not a function. When are we going to pause and think, this is what's destroying us? We have seen people in uh, late 20s amputated. So if you go by what Dr. Tukana says, the NCD advisor, if you have a chronic disease, because a disease um, like diabetes doesn't show tomorrow, it takes up to 20 years. So if somebody is getting amputated at 28, they were sick at eight, that means they were being fed the wrong foods from childhood. And this is what we're doing right now. We're putting wrong foods in the children's mouth and we're going to make them sick in 20 years time and amputated. This is the first time in our lives we see older people living and they're burying the dead children, young. And it's something that the VT as a whole needs to pause and think and, and we can turn the tide around because we are told by an NCD survey, first one that was done in 1983, the indigenous population did not have diabetes. And they were eating much healthier food because we're surrounded by good food. And the National Nutrition Survey says 80% of our children below the age of two are anemic. Almost 50% of Fiji is anemic, but we feed our mouths three to five times a day. So we need to pause to think, what are we eating? Uh, are we eating the good food that's around us? If we're eating the roro and the sage and the boiled fish instead of over frying everything, we probably will not get into this disease phase. And we need to pause now to change the tide around. We've seen six months intervention, eight months intervention by a physiotherapist has mobilized these people. They can go back to their gardening, they can go back to fishing, they can, you know, get their life normal. And I think many more agencies need to get into this too. One, uplift the people who are in the, in the bad space right now. Two, work towards preventing it. And I think it's beyond urgent action time. So this was in our attempt also to show people that, that three people being amputated a day is not a statistic. 
it is human beings living in our own communities suffering right now. And you and I can make a lot of difference.